Hi, I'm John Apsey. I was the original Jazz Bear for 25 years with Utah Jazz. You know, uh, with Jazz Bear, I think I, I would definitely have to say that I, I never looked um, at being a mascot in my, you know, in my life, in my career. It just feels like my childhood was a training ground and was, now that I look back, everything I did seemed to uh, lend itself to the actual uh, career of a mascot. Um, I went to a little private Catholic school in East Grand Forks, Minnesota, uh, Sacred Heart High School, and I was super ADHD, and uh, I am really grateful that the school didn't kick me out, <laughs> now that I think about it, because it was just, I was just so uh, hyper, and, and they were very tolerant of me, and um, I just remember doing some stupid things when I was growing up that now that I think about it, like, you know, I would I love to climb high things or I would jump on a train or I, I would have people drive at me with a car and I would, you know, hit the windshield and roll over it like in a stunt. And so everything I always did, now that I'm looking back, actually seems like it was prepping me for this career as a mascot. Did see information about when I was in our common area, you know, where you go to lunch and I saw this flyer and it talked about the National Guard and about how they'd help pay for your college. And uh, I remember thinking, well, that would, that would be pretty nice. So I did uh, sign up and I was in the National Guard and I remember I was looking at all the uh, MOSs, all the jobs and stuff that we could do. And I remember asking what a uh, forward observer is and I remember asking them what it was and and they just said that you know you basically call artillery fire and and all this other stuff and it, in the military it, it was it was really cool how i was able to connect to a bunch of uh guys in my unit in my in my squad and stuff and and we became really tight and uh then you know we graduated went on to do our mos and i remember i was in ait and i remember the drill sergeant walked in and called us all a bunch of dumb SOBs because he goes, this is you. And he dropped the pen. He goes, you're dead. And he goes, uh, do you realize that only 3% of forward observers came back from the wars? And that's the slap of reality that I got was, you know, what, what did I just sign up for? You know, it seemed fun, but now I realize the whole danger part of it. But no, I remember I volunteered for uh, Desert Storm and they, since our Minnesota unit wasn't going, they attached me to a unit out in uh, Mississippi with uh, Camp Shelby. What we did is we packed up and we shipped all our stuff over to the coast and, um, you know, got ready to uh, deploy. And then when we got out, um, we demobilized in Mississippi again. And from there, I ended up uh, coming home and jumping back in school. And uh, that's where my mascotting career and stuff started. When I, when I was going to school, uh, there was a team in Fargo, North Dakota that came and they wanted to do uh, a CBA team in Fargo, North Dakota. And they came to our gymnastics gym, Fargo Moorhead Acro team, and they, they asked if there was anybody there that would want to be a mascot. And everybody just kind of pointed over like this. And the thing that's funny is at the time, it was 25 bucks a night to work the game. And you all know, you know, in college, you're a poor college kid. And I was like, 25 bucks, that'll work. While I was there, I sent out a resume and stuff like that to uh, all the NBA teams and got a call from the Utah Jazz that they were going to have a three-team tryout uh, here at Westminster. And it was Seattle, Sacramento, Utah. And then a couple weeks later, they called it back and said, you're one of three guys that we're bringing in and for back for second tryouts. Believe it or not, I got a call from Seattle, Sacramento, and, and Utah. And they all offered me the job. And I remember I just, I paused and I was like, I don't know what to do. I was a little town farm boy, really wasn't confident with myself um, and didn't want to leave the, the protection of the small farm. And uh, so I didn't call anybody back. And like a week and a half or so went by and Grant Harrison, the, uh, uh, who's amazing, he's the one who hired me. He's, he'd been with the Jazz for a hundred years back when it was in the Salt Palace. Uh, called me up and said, hey, did you take the offer with another team? And I was just like, no, I really didn't. And then he just said, well, what are you thinking? And I said, I really don't know, Grant. And I go, I don't know what to do. And he just said, well, why don't you come out to Utah and, and try it here? The hardest part for me when I think back on that is that I could have missed this opportunity, all because of me doubting myself. You know, I, I just I, I just didn't think I had what it took. Um, and I, I 
I look back and just think about the opportunity I would have missed if Grant wouldn't have called me back.